It has been over two years since Blake Shelton and Miranda Lambert divorced, but the wounds from the split are apparently still fresh. Do the comments each are making on social media and in magazine interviews mean the two are still at war after Shelton's idol, Garth Brooks, caught flack for lip-syncing at the recent CMA's Lambert's boyfriend, Anderson East took to Twitter to criticize the country legend. According to OK! Magazine, East read that he tries to put on the best and most honest show and Brooks' performance offended him. He added that country music is supposed to be three chords and the truth. The Mama's Broken Heart singer quickly replied, High five on this babe. But Blake Shelton was on the other side of the issue. He tweeted to Brooks that he still loved him, and added the hashtags hero and respect. Shelton also threw some shade at Lambert during his recent People magazine interview for his Sexiest Man Alive feature. While gushing over his strong relationship with Gwen Stefani, he added that when the two started dating, they both felt betrayed and on the bottom. This, of course, was in reference to Shelton's feelings of betrayal over Lambert's alleged cheating during the marriage. She has reportedly denied cheating on Shelton, but a source at Lifestyle says that she chooses to tell her side of what happened through her music. Fans should NT be surprised if they hear diss tracks on her upcoming album. Maybe Shelton and Stefani will get in on the act too with the future records. However, could all of this just be blown out of proportion? Gossip Cop says that stories of Shelton and Lambert being in a new war are false. The site claims the Lifestyle article is deceptive because in the first paragraph it quotes Shelton as saying, I don't think we're close to calling a wedding planner. But they wrote it in the present tense and made it appear the country superstar was speaking directly to the tabloid. However, Shelton had made the quote three weeks earlier during a radio interview. With a quote deceptively presented at the beginning of the article, there is no reason to believe there is any truth to the rest of it.